Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is uh, Friday, May 10th. I'll be going on a recap for today. Um, so the past few days I've been uh, taking some few big losses and that's because I've stopped using my um, stop triggers and hard stops. So um, today I implemented those um, and they started to work out well. Um, getting higher percentage winners and reducing my loss to um, a reasonable size. So uh, stick around towards the end of the video, I'll show you how I uh, set up those hotkeys um, to um, enter trades during triggers, stop, stop trigger orders, and setting up my stop loss. So let's get started with the recap here. So my first, uh, I'll just go down the list, but so the first one is GH. So GH, I saw um, a flag here, so you can see a little flag had a retested VW a few times and had this higher low, um, and then it's breaking this flag. So I went long here with my risk off of this prior low. Um, so I went long there, uh, sold into this spike, and then um, it kind of fell to hold. Um, I think I had the five minutes, so my, my stop was a little tight, um, but I think before before this five minute printed, the five minute EMA was a little higher. So this actually wicked me out on the five minute EMA. Um, so this actually stopped me out, and it was below the five minute when it happened, but um, because it printed this, the, the next five minute, it kind of raised the five minute EMA a little bit. So um, unfortunately, it kind of stopped me out and then went a little higher, um, which is which is fine. I'm okay with stopping me out. Um, I needed practice, so um, what I did was I just took a little bit off of these highs here and then set my stop to uh, break even or the five minute EMA, and that was a ten dollar winner for GH. Um, the next one is QCOM. So QCOM, uh, I was actually, uh, I shorted twice here. Uh, I was up uh, $50 here and then I give away, give some away over here. So the first one, um, you can see that there's a, a support resistance around this uh, 84, 35 area. So you can see it's performing higher lows, higher lows. Um, and then it was uh, basing off this 84, 35 area. So I went ahead and hit short there um, and then covered along here and then near red to green. Uh, it, it eventually bounced. I had a quarter left or so and I took it off there break even. So uh, as you can see, my hard stop is, um, although it is sometimes tight, it is reducing my losses. So I would have taken a loss here if I would have not stopped here. Um, and then later on the day, it ch was churning up, and I saw this uh, prior uh, high over here in the morning becoming support, and I was trying to anticipate a uh, break here. Um, and I was drawing this uh, bear flag, and it was kind of breaking down. Um, let's see. So I was drawing this bear flag right here off this, uh, it broke down. I uh, went ahead and started short and then when I see it didn't go my way right away, I just stopped out. And I give away back like $30 or so. Um, and that was a $16 winner on the short side for these two trades here. Uh, my next trade was Uber. Uh, so uh, Uber had IPO today um, and uh, did a few trades this when it opened. So I think the first one was this this break of the. Let me get this. So this had a little quick break. Um, I went ahead and I think I took a loss here. So I actually I, yeah I took a it was break even here. So I took like a two dollar loss or so. Um, during this break, so it went up, it popped right up, up and then went back down. So that actually uh, 
uh, scared me out, so I, I went ahead and just stopped out there. Mm -hmm. You can see this. I kind of like this pattern because you can see this little cup and handle. Um, my initial wrist was here, but because it had made this weird move, I didn't like it. Um, and then also the the opening minute was a four to five minute high, or four or five dollar high. Um, the next trade I did was I took another loss here. Um, this this one was like a twelve dollar loss. Uh, I tried to anticipate this uh, eighty five break. So eighty five was holding pretty well. So this eighty five area tested a few times. Uh, when I bought this, when it didn't break this initial time right here, I went ahead and stopped out because uh, the more time I try to test, the harder it can fall. So I just stopped out there, told out a loss. Um, and then I told myself, okay, I'm gonna set my stop order for 86. If it triggers, then it'll get me in. Um, so on the short side, I did two shorts. Um, so I did a short here um for this uh little scalp here um you can see it was pushing down pushing down this level here um it was going down this 44 level and when it popped back up and then fell back to 44 level i went ahead and started short uh, for this bear flag so you can see this bear flag um and then i covered and covered when it kind of broke above 44. Uh, I took another short here so you can see VWAP is just right under and on the I think on the five minute chart you can see a very very nice cup and handle. I went ahead and short that so I shorted that break uh, had the trigger order so it really helps me I sometimes I just leave the trigger order and then I set my stop here uh, Put my trigger order and then sometimes it enters me and I oh, okay I'm in a position uh, but sometimes I reanalyze it and cancel it if needed but I pretty much I like, covered way too soon uh, I should have trailed you know tiny bit but it went all the way down to 41 so I covered 43 there and that was a 58 dollar winner um, so I this IPO it, it had a strong opening um, and then it sold off uh, during the afternoon because it fell to break 45. So tomorrow, um, key levels here is are the 41 break or the 44 break. This will um, eventually show its direction, um, not tomorrow, but next week on Monday. Next trade was VFF. So VFF, oh, it was a little frustrating because uh, I I got stopped out, wicked out again, and it ran without me. So, um, okay, so okay, this wasn't a flag. Uh, it was this flag. So this flag here, you can see it had a uh, resistance, support here, resistance, resistance, and then now it became support. So once it became support again, uh, I could take that low there as my risk. So I'm risking here. Uh, bought there during that break. Uh, sold at high of day and then I wanted to stop out at the five minute mark so you can see this five minute here it fell right below the 90 MA it wicked me out and it went all the way to 13 so it was a little disappointing but I got a nine dollar winner from uh, took some partials here uh, off this uh, high of day test uh, went to retest the 90 MA again and broke out to the nut 13. Um, it's a little disappointing because I guess I my, my stop is too tight, but at the same time, I'm willing to take that um, for now. Um, since I, for the past few days, I've been not stopping out. So this hard stop will definitely help me uh, reduce my losses. Uh, the next trade I did was Zine. So Zine, oh, so this, the same same thing happened. So this happened to me three times today. Uh, but I bought this, was it this break? I think it was this break, uh, plus uh, if you draw the three days, three day um, cup and handle, 
that was also the break there. So I bought that break there at the 44, 45 area. Um, it was like a three day move. Um, so I bought there and pretty much sold on to here. And then you can see that really long wick there stopped me out and it went all the way to 1290. So three times, um, again, stopped me out, wicked me out from my hard stop. Um, I think uh, things I could improve on is maybe let the five minutes because all the stops are wicks that are stopping them out and not a full body or closing below the five minute. So that's something I could implement, but um, not with a hard stop, you cannot do that. Um, but I think I might be okay with just taking these. Um, the time, when the time comes, maybe uh, it it will be better to just wait for like an inverted cup and handle uh, and then stop out here. Um, but overall, uh, traded a few tickers here and up a total of $114. Um, so I'll, I'll explain how I use the stop trigger orders um, to enter my trade. So pretty much if you go to, if you use Dash Trader Pro, um, you can click on this double click to trade button here. Um, and what it does is when you double click, it sets the your price here. So like here you can see it's 1220. Double click, it changes to 1220. So what I do is I have, uh, you can ignore this, but this one, if you read the script, it says stop price equals price. So pretty much what it does is it sets the stop price here, the trigger price to whatever this is. Um, so initially, if I want to long here, right, I would stop at this low. So like 12.22, right? I click here, this is 12.22. Um, and then if you watch the trigger price here, once I click this hotkey, you can see it changed to 1222 there. Um, really hard to see, but, and then the next thing I do is I will click on the trigger price. So if I wanted to break out of here, uh, 1240, 1242, right? So I'll click that and I click long stop. And then what it does is it sets a 1242 here and I put a three cent slippage and it will be a stop and a limit order. Uh, and then you will, um, after that, uh, it calculates the share price. So right now I have the share price as 50 divided by price, which is $50 risk. So it's, you can see here it automatically sets 217 shares to buy at 45 price with the risk down here. So this here is a $50 risk. Um, so if I, if this stock would have moved all the way up here, I would have made $50 uh, if I've taken this position. Um, so that's how I use my uh, stop order trigger and then pretty much uh, have hotkeys to stop risk so if I click here 1221 if I click here um, stop even it will it, it fails here because I don't have a position open but what it does is it sets the price uh, to break even um, and stop market order um, so hopefully uh, I could continue using this uh, stop limit order to enter trades, uh, which we will reduce my um, entering uh, prematurely um, to a sticker and getting stopped out. Um, and then uh, implementing my hard stop, which will reduce my losers. So as always, um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.